the the fossilized chunk of meat that I'm looking for, or the giant claw marks in it, is just to my right down here. And just here, in the same area in front of us, where, we are, where I'll take you, is the giant bone, the huge bone, the size of this car, with a shaft that's been cut off. That is one of the best examples of a giant bone head or knuckle where the shaft comes out and it's been cut off there. You can see how the bone marrow and the blood coming out of that section has fossilized and, and petrified very differently from the rest of the bone knuckle head. Oh man, what a beautiful afternoon. Couldn't have picked a better day to come and shoot this. This is also a great time to see more terraces and stunt circles down in the valley. All the way down as far as your eye can see. This is, a, this is the valley of a million stone circles right here. It goes 100 kilometers in every direction from here. It never stops. And just, you're actually now a testimony to that uh, because of the, the little interview we did with, um, uh, with Eunice Ann at Millie's and at the farm, walking through the felt. You can see that we're walking on stone circles, but it's only when you come back and you look at Google Earth how dense the stone circles are where we walked. We couldn't see it while walking in the felt. Same here. When you come to these places, there is that amazing place where you find that you just feel comfortable. And strangely enough, among these giant fossils that we're standing here, there's a very interesting peace and serenity right here. Although it's a slaughter field and a but giant butchery, there is a sense of peace and tranquility right here. Mm -hmm. 